Atrial fibrillation, commonly known as AFib, is the most common heart arrhythmia worldwide, and there are common misconceptions about this cardiovascular condition. In this video, I want to dispel prevalent myths, providing you with a factual roadmap to better understand AFib. Armed with accurate information and dispelling these myths, patients and caregivers alike can make informed decisions regarding the management and treatment of AFib. Myth number one, AFib is not a serious heart condition. Many believe that atrial fibrillation, or AFib, is just a minor heart problem, sometimes described as a simple irregular heartbeat. In fact, AFib can significantly increase your risk of serious health complications, especially stroke, heart failure, and other heart-related issues. It's crucial to understand that AFib deserves attention and effective long-term management. Myth number two, AFib only affects the elderly. Another common misperception is that AFib is an ailment exclusively for the elderly. Although age is a major risk factor, AFib can affect people of all ages, with around a quarter of patients being under 60. If you experience irregular heartbeats, it's essential to discuss this with your healthcare provider regardless of age. Common risk factors in younger patients include high blood pressure, obesity, diabetes, and excessive alcohol consumption. Myth number three. You cannot drink caffeine if you have AFib. There is a common belief that individuals with AFib should avoid caffeine altogether. However, recent studies have shown that coffee is generally safe for those with AFib. It is important to note that moderation is key, as excessive caffeine intake may still have potential side effects. Always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice on managing your AFib and caffeine consumption. Myth number four. Exercise and AFib don't mix. It's a myth that those with AFib should completely avoid exercise. In fact, regular moderate exercise is beneficial, but within the limits of a personalized plan agreed upon with your doctor. This helps to manage weight, improve cardiovascular health, and can even lessen the frequency of AFib episodes for many patients. Myth number five, lifestyle modifications don't improve AFib. Contrary to the myth, lifestyle modifications can play a significant role in improving AFib symptoms. Making changes such as weight loss, stress reduction, and alcohol reduction have been shown to have positive effects on managing AFib. Weight loss can help reduce the burden on the heart and improve overall cardiovascular health. Stress reduction techniques such as meditation or exercise can help lower stress levels and potentially reduce the frequency or severity of AFib episodes. Additionally, reducing alcohol consumption can have a positive impact on AFib as alcohol is known to trigger or worsen symptoms in some individuals. Lifestyle modifications are especially important in the long-term management of AFib to minimize symptoms. Now that we have dispelled these misconceptions, let's talk about how you can take control of AFib. Lifestyle habits play a significant role in managing AFib, and my tailored Take Control Over AFib program is here to guide you through that journey. It's a supportive framework that provides you with the necessary step-by-step -step plan to improve AFib as quickly as possible. Learn more about the Take Control Over AFib program with the link underneath this video. Until next time, I wish you the best with your AFib treatments.